Microsoft has a hundred billion reasons to decide when AGI or artificial general intelligence is achieved. That's right. They agreed on a hundred billion dollars as the number that OpenAI has to hit in profits before the board of OpenAI will certify that artificial general intelligence has been achieved. Now, most of the time when we think about what does it take for an AI to achieve general intelligence, we don't think to ourselves, how much money has it made lately? But that's what Microsoft is thinking. That's what Satya Nadella is thinking. And I went and looked. You may not know this. I didn't know this when I looked. I wanted to know how many companies in history have made a hundred billion dollars or more in profits over the course of the lifetime of the firm. There's not very many. Amazon crossed that that hundred billion dollar number just a year or two ago after 25 years in business. Saudi Aramco has done it. Berkshire Hathaway has done it. Apple has done it. Yes, Microsoft has done it too. In fact, the estimate for Microsoft is, I think it's something like $700 billion over the course of the entire history of Microsoft. And so if you look at Satya's bet here, he's saying, yeah, you can say that artificial general intelligence has been achieved and get it done and reshape your relationship with Microsoft after you get to $100 billion in profits. That would be adding like another eighth to the total profits generated by Microsoft ever in its history. Of course, Satya wants to cut that deal. And so to me, what that says is that OpenAI is desperate for servers. They're desperate for time. They're desperate for support. They need the partnership that Microsoft is bringing them in order to scale or they would not have cut this deal. At the end of the day, this is an extremely Microsoft favorable deal. The Microsoft lawyers were all over this one. As Satya himself hinted in his interview a few weeks ago when he said that we're above, around, below OpenAI. That's code for we've got them surrounded. They cut an incredible deal. And the, the reason all of this matters, by the way, is that the original terms that Microsoft negotiated with OpenAI are that when general intelligence is achieved, OpenAI can to some extent shift the value of that general intelligence into something that benefits humanity more largely, and they aren't obligated to continue to return as many of the profits to Microsoft as possible. I think it's at 75% or something of the profits go to Microsoft for the duration of the partnership until AGI is achieved. That was left nicely undefined until now when Microsoft wanted to put a definition to it. And I think part of why Satya wanted to rush this in 2024 is he sees the writing on the wall. He sees how fast the team at OpenAI is developing intelligence. He doesn't want to wait around and have an even more complicated conversation next year. He wanted to close this out. And so what he did was he said, we need a line in the sand. We need to negotiate this cleanly. And the cleanest line is financial. And conveniently, the cleanest financial line is extremely favorable to Microsoft. Now you can stretch a point and squint at it and say, I guess it's general intelligence if it does a hundred billion dollars worth of profitable work. Maybe that's what the lawyers were arguing, but to me, it seems like an extremely stretched definition of general intelligence and one that's extremely Microsoft favorable. And given the very, very short list of companies, maybe 10 total in the world that have generated a hundred billion dollars or more over the course of the firm's life, OpenAI is going to have to get extremely lucky just to get to that number ever. It is quite possible that we will be in a world where OpenAI is sucking up chips, sucking up data centers, spending like crazy to build, and they will hit their burn rate and it will be so high, they will not be in any position to generate massive profits for a parent company for a long time to come, if ever. It is extremely unusual for any company ever in the history of the world to hit $100 billion. Why would OpenAI be different? Yes, they may have stumbled upon intelligence, but the cost of innovation remains high and they may not actually be in the best position to harvest the value there. So we will have to see, but to me, this looks like 
a Microsoft favorable deal that tells me that OpenAI is pretty desperate right now. They had to cut this deal. Let me know what you think. Is the correct definition of general intelligence $100 billion? Yes? No? I don't think it is.